So in this tutorial, we'll uh, go ahead and write a simple web application. It'll have just one servlet, but um, we'll learn how to write that servlet and uh, how to execute it as well. So um, let's get started. First, let me stop Tomcat. We don't want it running for now. So there you see you have the Tomcat logs printed here. The Tomcat has been stopped. Okay, so I'll um, right click and clear the logs here. So um, the first thing we need to do here is create a project just like any other Java um, application. You will have to have a project here. The project will be a Java web application project in this case. So um, I go to the Package Explorer tab, right click, I'll select New, and uh, I'll not choose Java project here. I'll go to Other. And uh, here you have a list of uh, project templates. You will see this only if you have installed um, Eclipse for Java EE developers. So when you go to the Eclipse uh, site and uh, download the Eclipse installation, you have different uh, versions of Eclipse. You have Eclipse for Java developers, you have Eclipse for Java EE developers, and um, a whole lot more. So um, it's recommended that you choose Java for EE developers. So if you do that, you will see all these other options. You have options for EJB, you have Java EE, a whole lot of other stuff. Um, what we are interested is in this web folder. This has an entry called as dynamic web project. So this is what we will select here. So I say next. Now it'll ask me for a project name. So I will choose simple servlet project. It uses a default location, which is same as the workspace location. This you would have selected when you start Eclipse. It's going to ask for the target runtime. The target runtime is going to be Apache Tomcat, which we have already selected. I'm going to leave this as the default, 3.0. Um, configuration is going to be the same Apache Tomcat configuration. So uh, pretty much I've left everything here as a default. I won't just entered the project name. I press Next. Now it's going to ask for the source folder. So I will choose SRC. So what this, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm telling Eclipse that I want to create all my uh, source code in the SRC folder. So the default output folder is build slash classes. Again, this is something that I'm going to leave as default. I press next. Now it's going to ask me for the context root and uh, content directory. Uh, this needs a little bit of explanation. Um, let me just leave this as a default here and I'll uh, get back to that when we actually run the when we run the project. So I check generate web.xml deployment descriptor and click finish. Okay, now it's going to ask that uh, this kind of project is associated with the Java EE perspective. Do you want to open that? Yes. A perspective is nothing but a layout of tabs. It, you know, it uh, chooses a particular set of tabs in a particular uh, layout. So um, it's, it's convenient if you have the Java EE perspective. So um, we're going to select the service tab here. So uh, here is our project. We have uh, quite a few nodes here, which we are not really concerned about initially. The one that we are concerned about, for, you know, to start off with is this node called the deployment descriptor. This is actually an XML file. Let's uh, let's open up the navigator as well. Go to the window, show view, navigator. So this is this is how uh, the files are actually organized in the file system. So um, 
dot class path and dot project are uh, metadata for Eclipse to manage this project. So um, expand this web content folder, web inf. You see this web.xml file. Just double click on this. That's showing um, the XML view. I'll go for source. There you go. So this is our web.xml file. It has, uh, you know, the XML header, the web app node. Inside the web app node, you have something called as a display name, which is simple servlet project. And it also has something called as the welcome file list. It has uh, quite a few HTML and JSPs, index, default, and so on. That's about it. Very simple file, which configures what is the welcome file. Welcome file actually means when you are not entering any particular HTML or JSP file name in the URL, you just enter the web application URL directly, then what is the file that the web application should show? So we have a few files specified here. It, if it finds any one of these files, it's going to show that. But before we go there, first I need to tell you uh, what a web application context is. When we configured this, we entered two values. One was uh, for the context name, for which we entered simple servlet project, which is the same as project name here. And the second one, we entered uh, the web content directory name, which was web content. As you can see here, it's created one folder called web content. So if we had entered something else there, the f name of the folder would have been different. If we had entered web, this would have been called web. So what does this do? This contains all the web content. Web content means HTML files, JSP files, JavaScript files. Um, so all those files will be stored over here. So um, let me do one thing here. It, you know, you have a list of uh, welcome files, right? So what it's trying to do here is uh, it's trying to find one of these files here. Uh, we don't have any such file. So let's, let's go ahead and create one. So I'm going to right click new and um, I'll choose other HTML file. Next, I'm going to give the file name. I'll give index.html and I'm creating this inside web content so it's, uh, since it's a HTML file it has to go to the web content folder I'll say next I'll leave this as default I'll say finish so here is our index.html created directly so I'm going to enter some I'm going to make some changes here title is insert title here so I'm going to change this this will be simple web application and in the body I will type the same thing and says hello okay so um, this is a simple HTML file. Now we are actually all set to run this application. We have everything ready. So uh, what are the things we have ready? We have um, an XML file, which actually tells the web server what to render as default. We have all these things. We, we only need index.html. In fact, we can actually remove all these things. We don't need that. We have we just need to configure welcome file as index.html. Let me go ahead and remove these. I'll save. So that's it. So uh, welcome file is index.html. We've created that index.html here. And now we can run this. Right click, run as, run on server. Which server do you want to run it on? This is Apache Tomcat. You can also define a new server here. We've already defined it. So um, let's say next. Uh, now, you know, you, you remember we saw this tab before. You know, it, when we are configuring the server, it asked for uh, available and configured, all of them were uh, blank. Now we have a simple servlet project here and it's in the configured uh, list. So, which is good, so let's say finish. 
Now it's going to start Tomcat and deploy the application and it's going to call this. We actually have a browser tab open inside Eclipse itself as you can see here. So um, it's going to call this URL and it's going to render this HTML file. So whatever we typed here, index.html is actually getting rendered here. So it's calling Tomcat. Tomcat is providing this file. Okay, so now we'll talk about the context. You know, the other entry that we made there was the application context and we had entered simple servlet project. What this means is, um, you know, earlier we, we tried this, right? We, um, we just tried HTTP localhost colon 8080 and we got the Tomcat homepage. Now, this particular Tomcat instance might have uh, many applications running in it. We can have uh, one web application, one EJB application, one simple, uh, you know, bunch of HTMLs. So we can have a whole lot of applications running. So to access one particular application, we need to give that application name over here. So it needs to be localhost colon 8080, which means, uh, you know, I'm calling the Tomcat instance. And then after that, I need to enter the name of the application which I've deployed on this instance so that Tomcat goes to that particular application and says, hey, I'm, th there is this request that's coming for you. Now you need to serve this request. So I'm going to enter simple servlet project. Since this is the, the context route which we had configured when we you know, uh, created this project, this is what this is, this is the application that Tomcat will call when you enter this. If you have another application installed on the uh, same Tomcat instance, you need to give that application name. So when I pre press enter, now this application is called. And uh, when this application is called, you don't have any resource here. You don't have slash index.html or anything like that. So what Tomcat does is it goes to web.xml and it looks for the welcome file list. You know, here you have configured one welcome file, which is index.html. So uh, it pulls that up from the web content folder. Again, this is another thing we configured earlier. It's going to pull up index.html. It finds it and it renders it. Now say index.html was not there. Some, um, we had few other files and we had configured all those in the welcome list, you know, where there were a few other files here. So instead of index.html, say we had a default.html, it's actually gonna look at all these files one after the other. It's gonna check for index.html, no, it's not there. Index.htm, not there. JSP, not there. Default.html, it finds it and it renders it. So any one of these files if it's available in the web content folder, it's going to render that and it's going to display this. So now we have actually created a web application, which actually doesn't do anything much. It just has a HTML file. Let me save this index.html. Now the next step is to actually create a servlet which runs this HTML is static content, you know, it, uh, the Tomcat isn't doing much. It's just, uh, it's just pulling up the file and it's just sending it to the client side. Now, let's say I want to, I want to run a Java program. So how I do that is, let me, let me get rid of this tab. Now how I do that is by creating a servlet. Uh, 